personal selling. We all know banks in order to remain in the market forces are tempted to customize their products according to the needs of the customers. That's why banks are stretching their arms to offer personal banking services to customers. Personal banking refers to all the services like saving account operations, credit card services, etc. and all other facilities that the retail banks offer to persons or individuals being their customer. In this lesson, we will define the meaning and concept of personal banking, discuss the trends of personal banking in India, identify the types of accounts available in India for non-resident Indians, and discuss the investment opportunities available for NRIs in India and their benefits. After going through this presentation, you should be able to discuss the personal banking in Indian banks, explain the personal banking in new generation banks, describe the high net worth individual products, explain the types of NRI's bank accounts, and explain investment opportunities available to NRI's. Personal banking is a banking service that is geared primarily towards individual consumers. Personal banking is generally made available by commercial banks as well as smaller community banks like the cooperative banks in India. Unlike wholesale banking, personal banking focuses strictly on the consumer markets. The entities of personal banking provide a wide range of banking services as well as offering savings and checking accounts bill paying services as well as debit and credit cards. Personal banking is very important from both the customer and the banker's viewpoints. In this type of banking each and every customer gets personal attention from the bank personnel and they feel that they are important for the bank. Banks have the following products and services in the name of personal banking such as accounts and deposits, savings accounts, salary accounts, kids advantage account, current accounts, fixed deposits, recurring deposit, loans and advances, cards such as credit cards, mutual funds, tax planning and investment and insurance. Customer experience plays a crucial role in the making of a satisfied customer. In banking industry, differentiation has always been a challenge given the commoditization of products and services. There is a correlation between customer satisfaction and customer loyalty. Both customer satisfaction and customer loyalty essentially coupled for long-term growth of any organization. The Indian retail banking industry is witnessing a huge transformation due to the current economic crisis. The customer would continue to expect better service offering and no corner cuts because customer experience is a way to meet and exceed the expectation of end customer through all channels of interaction. This leads to increased advocacy and referrals for the bank and ultimately profitable revenue growth. The customer loyalty depends on how well bank performs on these factors and is able to build their image through referrals or simply through word of mouth. The customer prefers different channels for different products. For example, in the case of deposit products, the tendency is to walk directly into the financial center and apply for it. It's a term used in the financial service industry to denote an individual with high net worth. In the private banking business, these individuals typically are defined as having investable assets, financial assets not including primary residence, in excess of US dollar one million. HNIs in India would be showing a lot of status by use of luxury items. It is expected that more than one million Indians would buy luxury products. All investors prefer to invest in a diversified and balanced way, whereby the funds are spread out rather than being concentrated in one basket alone. A classification used by the financial services industry to denote an individual or a family with high net worth. Today, 
Most families love to holiday at sea resorts or in the mountains and other places of interest. So buying property in such places is ideal for letting out during peak seasons when the place is crowded with tourists. Investing in real estate with mortgage facility helps save taxes legally. Most of the brokers and financial advisors such as banks offer their customers personalized and comprehensive advice on matters of real estate. There are two types of non-resident bank accounts. First is an ordinary non-resident account in rupees. NRO account can be of any type of saving, current or fixed deposit. Balance held in NRO account can neither be repatriated nor is any remittance in foreign currency allowed without prior approval of RBI. Interest payable on NRO accounts is the same as on resident accounts. They vary from bank to bank as they have been freed from RBI regulation. Second is non-resident account in foreign currency. The deposit under FCNR scheme is held in foreign currency. Account holders can grant power of attorney or such other authority to residents in India for operating their FCNR accounts in India. The deposits under FCNR bank scheme are held in foreign currency. The interest and the repayment of the deposit are also made in the same foreign currency in which the account is maintained. The depositor may at his own will obtain repayment in Indian rupees converted at the buying rate on the date of repayment. In recent years, returns from real estate investments in India have over and over again performed well and even outperformed the other available investment options. Nevertheless, easy home loan availability by financial institutions in India, NRI remittances and repatriation procedures have emerged as the best of all the available prospects for the NRIs looking forward to return to India. The policies set out by the government regarding property investment and repatriation has made opportunities of investments in India even more favorable. Under the present relaxed conditions, non-resident Indians, NRI and persons of Indian origin, PIO, can invest in property in India. NRIs can acquire residential or immovable property in India, rent it out, transfer or sell it if required. The NRI or PIO may use his own funds to purchase immovable property other than the option of availing home loan from bank for this purpose. The NRI's own funds refer to the money received in India by way of inward remittance from overseas out of income earned overseas personal savings outside India. They can remit sale proceeds outside India for up to two such properties without the approval of Reserve Bank of India. Remittance for subsequent properties needs RBI approval. In case the property is purchased from the rupee funds held in India, the remittance depends on the holding period of the property. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Personal banking is a banking service that is geared primarily towards bank consumers. Right or wrong? Right. The consumer loyalty depends on how well bank performs and is able to build their image through referrals or simply through word of mouth. Right or wrong? Right. HNIs act as mutual fund investors providing funds for the new startups without much of a fuss and with number increasing. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Personal banking is a banking service that is geared primarily towards individual consumers. Personal banking is generally made available by commercial banks as well as smaller community banks like the cooperative banks in India. Customer experience plays a crucial role in the making of a satisfied customer. In banking industry, 
differentiation has always been a challenge given the commoditization of products and services. Both customer satisfaction and customer loyalty essentially coupled for long-term growth of any organization. HNIs in India would be showing a lot of status by use of luxury items. It is expected that more than 1 million Indians would buy luxury products. All investors prefer to invest in a diversified and balanced way, whereby the funds are spread out rather than being concentrated in one basket alone. Interest payable on NRO accounts is the same as on resident accounts. They vary from bank to bank as they have been freed from RBI regulation. Non-resident Indians NRI and persons of Indian origin PIO can invest in property in India. NRIs can acquire residential or immovable property in India, rent it out, transfer or sell it if required.